Uh, yes. All right, so we have Glenn Washington in the building right here on Citizen TV's One Love. First of all, welcome to the show. Um, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Maybe you can use the mic and everybody can hear you. I know uh, the guys at the back are wondering. Yes, this is Glenn Washington. Can you see him? Yeah, the people at the back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, again, Jumbo. <laughs> yes, Jumbo. All right, so we have Glenn Washington in the building, and we just want to find out more about him. I know uh, who has. If you have any questions for him, you let me know, and I'll I'll pass you a mic. You have a question for him? I'll pass you a mic, and you can ask him. So tell us, who is Glenn Washington? How would you describe yourself? Oh, I'm a humble little man from out of Clarendon, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. uh, keeping it live and keeping it real. Mm -hmm. Singing reggae music that I know people love, mm -hmm. that, uh, music that can edify and educate. Mm -hmm. We don't say educate, we say educate, you educate. know. Yeah. And um, positive, good vibes. I sing love songs that um, all the ladies can relate to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all people can relate to. Yeah. I sing cultural songs that people can relate to. And I, I would encourage everyone that's in this business to, to do that because those are the music that lasts forever. Yes, it does. I've been doing this a long, long Wait, time. Yeah, I was, I was oh, just about to ask you. Yeah. You see how young I look? I yes, be, you do. I could be a lot of you. A lot of children. You can, you can blend in. You can blend in. I stay young. Yes. I dress young. Mm -hmm. Feel young. How do you stay young? How, how, how do you? Mm. Healthy, exercise, mm -hmm. eat right, mm -hmm. sleep right, uh -huh. you know. <laughs> you watch what you eat? Positive man. Yeah. You have to watch what you eat. You yeah. can't just put anything inside. Yeah. yeah. And last time you were here, your hair was here. Yeah. And now it's way down now here. It, it, it's, <laughs> here. <laughs> it's grown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So how, um, when did you begin your musical journey? My, Do you my, remember the year? My how musical old you journey were? started when I, um, actually I started recording in 1973. Wow. A whole bunch of people weren't even born yet. Was anybody here born in 1973? <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> oh, you! He's lying. <laughs> I was a youth, but yeah. I love music, and um, mm -hmm. I was raised by my grandma, who's my hero. Mm -hmm. May her soul rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she taught me right from wrong how to stay strong and how to stay out of trouble, mm -hmm. and, I, and I bless her heart for that. Mm -hmm. And I hope everybody got a good grandma like yeah, that. Yeah, true. You know, Our grandmothers. I are started amazing. out wanting to be like some cook. And them people from back in the day, yes. I listened to them. I yes. grew up on R and B, yes. and I listened to them. And I listened to a lot of groups. I learned harmonies, learned how to sing harmonies, mm -hmm. and um, that took me, you know, to another level. Mm -hmm. And I kept myself stayed in my lane mm -hmm. and do what I'm supposed to do, uh -huh. you know. And thus far, musical I could have been, I could have been rich selling my soul, but I decided but you didn't. not to. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, and you stuck I to just, it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do this. The values also that, is it yeah. the values that you are, you grew up, yeah. you know, with your grandmother, mm -hmm. what she taught you, and how come you're so smart? <laughs> <laughs> you know how that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tell you go way back. <laughs> yes, you we still do. stay young. I'm I do. Still, yeah. I'm trying to keep up with you. I'm trying to keep up with you <laughs> from way back when. You still look the same. You still look the same. Yes, you do. There's some wrinkles all over uh, my face now. Like does that. anybody? Do you see any wrinkles? <laughs> no wrinkles. All yeah. right. So musical inspiration. Who are your musical inspiration? Musical inspiration. I got inspiration from a lot of lot of different people. I used to listen to, like I tell you, I told you, Sam Cooke, mm -hmm. Otis Redding, Come On Up, mm -hmm. Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I got I got into bigger things uh, from, from being the widow group that Stevie Wonder decided to bring back to America mm -hmm. and, and a whole other things start happening. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, one day somebody took me to meet with um, the late Clement Cox and dad from Studio One. He was like the very guardy of reggae music mm -hmm. and everything else started to happen. Mm -hmm. I went to do dub plates. I yeah. was singing I, I was singing a song that everybody loved and, and um, this, this DJ um, Tony School has a song called um, Downbeat. Mm -hmm. Just to make a long story short, and mm -hmm. he decided he wanted that song, but he's not going to do it at just any studio. He's going to take me to the source. Mm -hmm. So I met Clement Dad, and he said, Jackson, can you sing some of your songs on my rhythms? I'm going to say, every, every, everything that I've been singing since I was a youth is on Studio One rhythm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we, we struck up a friendship and decided to start recording. I record one, two, three songs, because I write, I write my own songs, and mm -hmm. I write them real quick, mm -hmm. and they have to make sense, and they have to have a meaning, so, um, we start recording a bunch of songs, my first song was a song called Love Knows No Shame, mm -hmm. and put it out on 7-inch, and it, 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 it said, Jackson, mm -hmm. 
the thing I say like hot bread, you know, we gonna have to do an album then. We put some we have a whole bunch of songs recorded, so we decided to pick out some songs and put it together. Mm-hmm. And then my first album on um, Brother to Brother mm-hmm. became a hit. Mm-hmm. Everybody started calling my phone. After after a while I decided it, it, it seemed like I don't have no time for myself. <laughs> and I was talking to the late Dennis Brown. Uh-huh. Friend of my, was a good friend of mine. Mm-hmm. And I said, how come I'm so busy? I, I, I don't have no time for myself. So he start laughing. He said, a boss, your boss, you know. <laughs> I said, okay, that's what it is. Yeah. I decided to start doing it, and, and here we are. Yeah. Yeah. And since here then. you are. Mm-hmm. Since then, yeah. 1973, up until now. Yes. That's like uh, first. The first song that ever became a hit was a song called Rockers. I know crackers, rockers are heavy music. I don't think any of these guys know it because well, yeah, does they anyone can know find it? it? They can find it. Yeah. For him, he was born in 1973. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'm going to put you on the spot. I know you have a new album out. So I wanna, we want to listen to one song right here that you have. Can we yeah. do that? Yes. Can we do that? Maybe the DJ can play it for us just the, a little bit. Yeah, you play it, the, the, and then you can tell us about it. If you want to jam to it, it's the okay. Ti- the title track is called it The Time of My Life. Mm-hmm. This is one of my favorite songs. On, on and I plan to do the video for this song right here in Kenya. Nice. All right. So can we have Glenn just jamming to this song?